The question today is on linear motion and we're going to look at relative speed. So it reads a train 100 meters long traveling at 72 kilometers per hour overtakes another train traveling in the same direction at 56 kilometers per hour and passes it completely in 54 seconds. Then part one, find the length of the second train. Then part two, find the time they would have taken to pass one another if they'd been traveling at these speeds in opposite directions. So we have a train which we are told is 100 meters long. The train is overtaking another train whose length is x. We do not know the length. But for the first train we are told it's moving at 72 kilometers per hour and the second train is moving at 56 kilometers per hour. So what we need to do is to determine the relative speed. So the relative speed is obtained as the difference between their speeds. So we have 72 minus 56 and that is equivalent to 16 kilometers per hour. Now we will have to express this in meters per second because we have the length given in meters and time is also given in seconds so this will make work easier. So this is obtained by simply multiplying 16 kilometers per hour by 5 over 18 so that converts it into meters per second and that is 4 and 4 over 9 meters per second. And we also need to know the distance covered during the overtaking. The distance will just be the sum of the length of the two trains, that is 100 plus x. And of course the time will given us 54 seconds. So from here we know that the relative speed is obtained as the total distance over total time taken of which for this case the relative speed we already have as 4 and 4 over 9 that is 40 over 9 and that should be equated to distance 100 plus x over the time taken which is 54 and then cross multiplying we are simply going to have 900 plus 9x is equal to 2160. 900 going to the other side, we have 9x is equal to 1260. Dividing both sides by 9, we will have x being 140 meters, and that is the length of the second train. For the second part, we have to find the time they would have taken to pass one another if they'd been traveling at these speeds in opposite directions. So the first thing we need to know, let us express the speeds in meters per second. So the speed of the first train and the second train. So we have 72 kilometers per hour multiplied by 5 over 18 that should give us 20 meters per second for the second train we have 56 kilometers per hour multiplied by 5 over 18 that should give us 15 and 5 over 9 meters per second so with this we have the relative speed because the two trains are now approaching each other, moving in opposite directions, the relative speed is obtained by simply adding the respective speeds. So we have 20 plus 15 and 5 over 9, that gives us 35 and 5 over 9 meters per second. And the distance will remain the same, that is 100 plus x, and x is already 140, so plus 140, that should give us 240 meters. 
with this we can therefore get the time the time it takes so remember the question is find the time they would have taken to pass one another if they had been traveling at these speeds in opposite directions so the time is distance over speed and we have distance as 240 and the speed is 35 and 5 over 9 so from my calculator I get the time as 6 and 3 over 4 seconds so that is it for this question thank you for watching hope to see you in the next video Thank you.